Islam and Natural Philosophy, a series in which we will address Islam, science, and philosophy all together with Dr. Basil Altai, a physicist and a philosopher of science over 10 episodes. Dr. Basil, what is Kalam? Kalam basically is a collection of ideas, thoughts, and principles and concepts which tries to explain the basis of Islamic creed using rational arguments. And, and what's Daqiq al-Kalam? Daqiq al-Kalam is a branch, is a sector of uh, the whole body of Kalam, which is concerned specifically with natural philosophy and topics of natural philosophy. And I have and identified five principles in this respect. Principles of Daqiq al-Kalam these are five principles which I have identified through a thorough study of Kalam and Daqiq al-Kalam. Atomism, temporality, recreation, indeterminism, and the integrity of space and time. By working with the Daqiq al-Kalam, I am laying down the foundation for a reform of the whole Islamic thought, in my opinion. We can but it's, this is not my task only. Many people have to work on this in order to reform Islamic thought, including the, the principles of jurisprudence, which falls under Jalil al-Kalam. Join us in this interesting series to understand how physics, the, the study of nature, can come together with logic under the umbrella of Islam from somebody who knows pretty much about all three topics with myself, Ahmed Ishta, the host of this program, and Dr. Basil Abtai, our expert on the subject matter.